Good Monday, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Stephen Puglisi here with the forecast on this last day of September 2019 as we hit the three quarters mark of the calendar year. And it's a really nice day out there with sunny skies and temperatures zerat when seasonable. Unfortunately, that sun will be disappearing over the next couple of hours as some clouds move into the area. It's a warm start to this week, but unfortunately that won't last. A midweek rain is expected, followed by much cooler weather, and I mean much cooler by the weekend. We'll get to that in just one moment. But for now, it's not that cool in Danbury, is it? At 1 o'clock, we had a temperature of 66 degrees. Dew point is 47. That is a 50-50 humidity and wind out of the east at 6 miles per hour. Now, as we get a look at our surface map off to the west of our area, we will find an area of low pressure here off the coast uh, up in Minnesota. And this is what brought the blizzard conditions and the feet of snow to Montana over the last few days. That won't be a problem today or tomorrow, but by Wednesday, this will begin to move on east towards the Danbury area and will give us some rain for Wednesday and especially on Thursday. Now we'll get a look at our satellite and here's the big problem for the afternoon. We have this area of cloud coverage and it's moving slowly but surely to the east and it likely will end up over the Danbury area in the next couple of hours. So I think we're going to end up being mostly cloudy by the early evening tonight. Not ideal, but it could be worse because really despite how it looks, there's not much rain with it. A few spritzes and sprinkles across upstate New York. One or two of these could sneak into Danbury, but I really don't think that this is much of a problem. Most of us should stay dry for the duration of your Monday. So for this afternoon, we're going with a high of 68 degrees, wind southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour with those increasing clouds, seasonable conditions. And then for the overnight tonight, we will be cloudy. I can't rule out a sprinkle here or there, but I think most of us stay dry uh, with a low of 54 degrees. As we go on to the extended forecast, Wednesday afternoon showers develop, mainly cloudy, but very mild. Look at this, a temperature of 80 for Wednesday. That's really nice and warm. But then look what happens on Thursday, the complete reverse. Rain likely pretty much all day, and it's a cold rain, a high of only 55. Some spots in the Litchfield Hills could struggle to get out of the 40s. It's just looking like a really nasty day on Thursday. Good day to be inside. Friday, morning showers left over, but then we do clear things out for the afternoon. Temperatures not much better, though, only in the upper 50s. And then Saturday looks nice, but again, way below average temperatures as we really, once again struggle to reach 60. Thank you so much for watching. I'm student meteorologist Stephen Puglisi. Be sure to follow us across the social media platforms and have a great first week of October.